it has been a hot minute since we've done a wig chat on this channel and I am so excited to start off my re-obsession with wigs with this one. Hi everybody, Jill here and welcome to a wig chat. It's been a while since we've had a wig chat. I am super excited. This is just um, really so appropriate to start off my re-obsession with wigs with the wig that ended up being my all-time favorite wig and that's Ignite. I still have my very first Ignite. This is only the second Ignite I've ever purchased. My first one's wearable still and I bought it in 2017. I mean granted the nape is getting raspy looking and it's scratchy and it definitely needed replacing. Had full intention of, re of replacing that one and then I kind of got into the toppers and got you know really obsessed with those and I still love them and I will probably live in those all summer long. But before I discovered those, I lived in this wig, Ignite, here, and it saved me. And um, it was my go-to wig, which surprises me so much that really my original Ignite looks pretty dang good because I wore it basically every day. I think the shorter wigs, it's the key there. And it's an HD fiber, so um, I was really surprised that it lasted like it did. So you guys, here we go. This is John Renault's Ignite. And this one is in Palm Springs Blonde. So I have yet to experience any of these California blondes, you guys, because I kind of tapped out of the whole wig thing for, you know, while I was just really into toppers. And so I have not seen them in person. I have watched wig reviews in them. I mean, when I was really into toppers, to be honest, I didn't watch any wig reviews at all. I didn't know what was coming out, what was new, other than I know you know, that these new blondes of my favorite designer of wigs, John Renault, had come out. So that was intriguing for sure. Um, anyway, yeah, so just within the last probably week or so, I have become really excited about wigs again. I don't know why the timing is what it is because we're going to be going into spring and summer, which is when I really was planning on, you know, really getting into the toppers. So no rhyme or reason here. Anyway, I find it so appropriate, you guys, to start this year's first wig chat off with Ignite. So let's take a look at her. The funny thing is, is that when I got this, I just got this today, and guys, and that's how excited I am to get this wig chat up and share it with you guys, um, is I planned on not looking at this color because I have not seen it in person until I unboxed it with you guys and I could not stand it. I could not do it. I had the box upstairs. I, you know, thought, okay, Jill, don't, don't open the lid. Let's just, you know, get ready and we will open it up for the first time during the wig chat. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. I have, I had to look at it. But what I haven't done is I haven't taken out my Shaded Biscuit. I'm really curious to find out how close it is to Shaded Biscuit. I think a lot of us would love to know that because that is what's missing in the John Renault line is a very cool light blonde. Okay. Now, uh, again, this video might be a little longer, whatever, right? Because all of mine are longer. Um, I just had somebody say, I'd really appreciate it if you would chat less and just get to get down to it with these um, wig reviews. Well, see, here's the thing. I don't do traditional wig reviews. Um, if you want to get down to like the real specs of the matter, there are so many other channels, really. They, these are, and I call them wig chats, for that reason, I'm a chatty person, but I'm experiencing these for the first time usually with you guys. I'm going to be messing with it, talking to you about what's going on in my head, um, and so they are chatty. If you're looking for the specs, go down into the description box and I will put them there with links of where you can, um, you know, purchase this if you're interested because that's where I purchased it. 99.99% of, of my ch wig chats are because I purchased them myself. And if not, I always tell you guys, and it never alters my thoughts and feelings of what I share with you. Always very honest. So 
here we go. Before we take a little looky loo at this color, because I know you guys already have. I'm the one that needs to catch up in the wig world. I'm sure, not you guys. I'm also going to treat this as if you have never seen Ignite in your life. So we are going to take a look again. And this is a good refresher for me too. Um, so, you know, the cap. So Ignite and I think this is why it was so hard for me to get used to. It was the second wig that I ever purchased. I had never experienced permatease yet because this was my first wig and this is 100% hand tied cap. No permatease. Can't get more realistic than a cap like this. So not only was this my first short wig, it was my first machine wefted, you know, closed cap permatease wig so it took a lot of getting used to but i love it now what this does have is the gorgeous smart lace john renault smart lace front and that's where the realism really comes in and that to me is why this wig works for me even though it doesn't have any sort of mono part or mono top so that's it really is this is machine wefted all throughout makes it very stretchy and it breathes and it makes it very comfortable minus you know this part this is the, where the permatease lives there is some open wefting here on each side so it's a little warmer on top because that's permatease is like a little you know layer between you and the outside world it feels it's, it can be very warm if you've got a lot going on there um, but there are some wefts on each side, which was brilliant. I don't know. Um, to me, it, it makes it so much more comfortable than completely, you know, kind of closed caps. Anyway, uh, these do have the extremely comfortable, really nice ear tabs, very soft. That is a must for me. Another must for me is having an extended nape down here. I find that they itch me. They just don't feel secure for some reason. And this has is very soft. There's the metal stays, of course, in the ear tabs. John Renault's metal stays are very nice. Uh, they do a great job. And you guys, don't forget, there are two metal stays that are vertical back here in the nape, so you can tuck them in, and it just tucks the wig right under that occipital bone and, and really makes it look f fabulously uh, realistic, and it feels secure. I didn't know that for the longest time. <laughs> So this cap, although fairly basic, does have these features, smart lace, that really kind of push it over the top and make it so I can wear it comfortably. Um, now, the other thing too is if you really need to adjust these straps, these are the Velcro straps. I prefer those over the pool tie ones. Uh, so it checks a lot of boxes off for me. All right, guys, let's take a look at at this so this is right out of the box I'm gonna scoot back a little bit I feel like I'm crowding you so you guys here here we go this um, color still has a root that's really important to me um, and yet it's done really super nice I can tell that right out of the gate it's not overly powerful it's it's gorgeous it's much prettier even than than videos that I was um, watching on YouTube even. I was thinking, ooh, if it's really burgundy weird, I don't think I'm gonna like that. It's very, very nice. Just the right amount. It's not down too far. Um, and with a shorter style, I think that's really important. You guys, this color is fabulous. This is the lightest, this is Palm Springs Blonde. This is the lightest shade in the California Blondes. Can I get it on? I am so excited to get this wig on you guys. So I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, oh my Lord, you guys. Oh, hello, old friend. Oh my God, I, I, I'm wow. Okay. Now, as you know, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this color is to die, especially on this wig. I don't know if I could do like a full on longer medium wig in this color. I think it would be a little much, but oh my gosh. 
Oh, in Ignite, I am um, absolutely infatuated because I love this wig and uh, it's so weird seeing it in anything other than shaded praline, but so pretty. So yes, guys, this does have some permatease. It's not crazy. It's not like a Noriko wig or anything like that. Um, it is the perfect amount. It gives it lift. It gets it off the cap. It is perfection. This shaping, the cut, the, the way it is designed is sheer perfection. I am telling you, if you are teetering on looking at shorter wigs, this would be really an amazing way to go. Um, it's so trendy. You guys, this color is so trendy right now. Um, it's, it's very difficult to get your hair, your actual bio hair, this color. It's very damaging to it. It's very difficult unless you are already a very, very light blonde and a little toner will take you there. Um, it's, it's really tough, but this, this is gorgeous and it's so exciting. And I, and I will be so disappointed if this one doesn't last like my other one. I can't imagine. I don't know. Uh, but it's exciting because I know how long my other Ignite lasted and I didn't even have too much problems with the very bottom of this, um, you know, getting bad. Never had to trim it or tip it. And let me tell you, I styled this baby like nobody's business. I mean product. I've pulled it back. I've clipped it. I've put more hairspray and more product in it. And you name it, this one went through it more than any of my other wigs. So entertain those shorter wigs if you're looking for longevity. I can I I need to get a little closer here. I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit because I will probably be sitting a little closer to you guys now. Um, before I do the once around, I am so, I really want to look at the rooting. Wow, look at that. Um, wow. The color is so much more gentle on my skin, I do have to say, um, over the, the 12 FS8. That's uh, for sure, and I knew it would be. You know, I deal with that because I love that blonde so much. Um, so I, I just deal with, with that starkness. But that's gorgeous. John Renault really makes some of the best uh, lace front wigs in this entire uh, industry. Uh, Raquel Welch does a great job as well. I've seen some really wonderful lace fronts, even in the Bell Trust line. But I have to say, um, this is this is stunning. Um, it, it is very very nice. So I did actually shave my nape area because it's been so long since I've worn a wig that I had to do that with. So I shaved my nape area up pretty high. It's like I don't care. Um, you can't see it when my hair is down, and and it's going to be. You know, if I'm wearing wigs, it needs to be nice and clean. So I may have missed a couple little things here and there, but right before I came on, I did uh, shave that. So um, let me do a once around in case maybe you uh, are not familiar with this gorgeous wig. Okay, so this is the side. Make sure I'm in, in view here. And the other side. and the back. So this is very short. Again, you can cup these little vertical stays and it will scoop toward your nape. Is that a good view? You do not have to have this real poofy if you don't like it. I actually really like poof. So um, I don't mind having it poofy at all, uh, within reason, you know. So this is right out of the box, no product on this at all. It is just right out of the box and um, it's, it's really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, I'm, a, I'm definitely a tucker most of the time with this one, uh, with most of my wigs really. And uh, yeah, okay. Fibers were very, very soft. Um, there's flyaways that can be tamed with either dry shampoo or even a little bit of product. 
Um, I went ahead and repurchased this time the Style and Hold Hairspray from Beauty Mark. I actually think this one holds better than the John Renault holding spray. So I repurchased uh, this one. This one's brand new. I, I purchased it with this order. Um, so you can use a little bit of that. I, when I first got my Ignite, look at that lace front. Wow, it's beautiful. When I first got my first Ignite, I just dry shampooed it. Dry shampoo does help you control the wig fibers. It also helps all of the synthetic styling products work much better. Um, but um, I'm gonna go in the sun and take a look and see, but I don't know I, if I'm gonna dry shampoo this, I don't know. So the other thing too is you can make this look very PC and edgy with some of the John Renault Easy Hair. This is their um, Peace Out Contour Cream. I use this quite a bit uh, back when I was wearing wigs a lot and I still have a ton of it. So it lasts forever, forever. I can't imagine ever running out because when you do use it, you need so little. So, I mean, you could put that in here and just, you know, really kind of get it PC and, and give it a whole different texture and feel. Um, it's a lot of fun to experiment with. Don't get crazy with it because it'll turn into just kind of a greasy mess. It washes out, but just be careful. Um, so yeah, this is, this is lovely. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. With this wig, it came with one of these wig caps and it is an HD fiber. So they always come, did I already take it out of here? No. Of course they always come with a net. This one, uh, you want to store it inside out. And if you're putting it back in your box, turn it inside out and then put the net over it and you can store it in your box. The HD fiber wigs always come with the John Renault pick. Uh, this is really all you are to use or anything that's very similar. Um, and I have a, a ton of them. <laughs> um, but it's it's all you really want to use on, on these HD fibers. And it's all I ever do use. I don't use anything else except for my fingers, maybe. So let's take a look at Shaded Biscuit. So here's here's Crowd Pleaser. So I'm looking. Palm Springs Blonde is definitely lighter. It's definitely a platinum. This one surprisingly I thought would be a little equal when it comes to the lightness but um, this this one is definitely um, definitely uh, not as light not as platinum that surprises me I don't know why Um, and of course, I really think it gets quite a bit lighter, even more around the face in very traditional, you know, Raquel Welch style and the designers, they always do that. So even though you have this very dark root around the face is always very soft. I don't like that particularly. <laughs> so go figure. Um, especially particularly in the Shaded Biscuit because I am so fair that having it so light around the face, I, I actually don't like it that much, but um, that is an exception because most people do really like it. Yeah, it is tremendously lighter, really. Now, so yes, Shaded Biscuit, Palm Springs Blonde. 
So if you love your platinum blondes or you're curious to try a platinum blonde, um, this would be it. This would be it. Now, I, it's not, when I hold it up to this, it does, it is quite light, but then when I take that away, um, it doesn't look like white, white, you know, there is some, there is some dynamic colors also kind of woven in here. There's a little bit of low lights as well. So it's not like a full on just bleached out white platinum. It's quite dynamic. It's very pretty, um, very pretty. Um, let me take this outside. I want to see if I can find a patch of sun or at least a, just a little bit more regular light. So let's go do that. I'm back inside my recording room and standing kind of by the window because I do have a, a lit. oops, I accidentally pressed something. I do have a little bit of, a little bit more kind of natural light going on here, right by the window. Let me see if I can hold this with this hand. It's really pretty, isn't it? I really like it. It's very light and it surprises me that I like it then because I actually um, ordered a Raquel Welch wig. I'm not gonna tell you which one yet. Um, it's gonna be a while before it gets here. It's a new one and it hasn't even been released yet. But um, I didn't get it in Shaded Biscuit because I feel like that one's just a little too light. And you know, I think it's because of that light banding that they put all around the hairline there. I just don't like that. Um, so I ordered it in a completely different color. I have no idea what it's going to look like because I have never experienced any other color other than the Shaded Biscuit in that line. So, but so the fact that I like this is pretty remarkable because <laughs> I think it has a lot to do with Ignite because I love this wig and they're just, the, the, it's beautiful. The, the rooting is gorgeous. Um, and I think without the rooting, I, I probably, um, I don't think it would be a go for me anyway. Okay, my arm is killing me. This is a heavy camera. So I'm gonna mount this cam, oh, that doesn't sound right. I'm gonna put this camera back on the stand thingy. <laughs> so. <laughs> I am so excited, you guys. I. I, I don't know. I took my wig sabbatical and um, I'm back again. So not to say I'm abandoning, this is that firm and hold hairspray, not to say that I'm in ba abandoning toppers, goodness, no, but I am just, uh, I don't know. I, I have reignited my um, my wig flame, so you'll be seeing wig chats coming at you as much as my budget will allow. Like I said, most of my wigs I purchase myself. Um, I make a, sm a little bit of money with my YouTube channel, and the last uh, couple months I've reinvested it in either makeup or toppers. And so this month I invested it in um, a couple wigs. So I'm not going to tell you which ones they are. Um, they're not going to be released until March because that's the release date. So maybe I gave away the brand, maybe. Um, Anyway, yeah, just with that little bit of hairspray that I just put on, guys, um, it has subdued flyaways, you know, it has secured uh, the bangs, and, and uh, it's not, it, it, this, 
is not going to behave still like a regular hairspray depending on what kind of firm hold you like but it works better than the John Renault holding spray I found um, it actually does hold the hair there so I really have been enjoying it but it is a little stickier but it completely washes out because that's another thing that I wanted to make sure so yeah this is um, this is gorgeous. Um, this is going to be an amazing wig to wear this summer because it's the coolest wig I own. Um, but beyond that, the color. The color is going to be fabulous this summer. Um, I can't wait. Okay, guys, until next time, stay young at heart. Bye bye.